Yeah. Sucks. So we're, uh, I hope you guys like princesses also. So we're going to hey, have... Hey, hey. Well, put some respect on Palutena's name. She's a goddess. Oh, that's okay? true. We are in the house of gods, so therefore she is a goddess. Um, but also she's a goddess regardless. Needless to say, it's going to be Odyssey, newly sponsored by Ink Control Gaming, and going up against uh, HQ Gaming, Art Hungry. So this is yeah. going to be an interesting matchup. Hungry swears that uh, Zelda does really well against Palutena. Yeah, and um, from playing Hungry on Wi-Fi in the very exact matchup, I can uh, go into that. So essentially what happens is Palutena really can't auto-radical or explosive flame in neutral, because then Hungry just teleports in. Right. Yeah. yeah, that's something that Zelda does really well against characters that have like these like stagnant set play options. She can just kind of Feyre's wind in for free. Yeah. Uh, and Palutena, as good as a character as she is, her auto, you know, if she can't convert to explosive flames or you know, get the grabs that she needs. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be really hard for her to. You're release. like, you're like basically playing um, Smash Four Palutena in a sense. For like your new fancy, pretty tools are no longer available. Yeah, to you. but hungry uh, up being very unsafely in the Odyssey Shield right there. Backer's mm. gonna connect. So, like the attempt of the jump explosive flame there. Yeah, that was really nice. He covered a lot. Good parry on the F tilt, but still not in a good enough range to get a punish out of that. Oh. And the good old tried and true, if you're just DI away from Palutena's down throw, you're probably not going to get hit for anything yeah. significant. I mean, in this game, you can get Rar back air, and it will kill by the ledge. But Hungry taking the first stock with that downward angled F tilt. Yeah, man. F tilt is such a good tool for Zelda. Like, yeah. we said, as F, speaking of uh, F tilt, uh, Palutena is also very good. So. Now it is. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm so happy. Yeah, I'm sure you are. Name like three songs for Kid Icarus Uprising. Uh, Actually, no, you can. So yeah, I definitely bad, can, so. bro. I was listening to the soundtrack, like, doing homework this week. Yeah. So I, I definitely studied this matchup. <laughs> so quick start there from Odyssey, but our Hungry doing a good job, you know, ev evading any sort of crazy string for Palutena. That's kind of the thing about Balu that's very scary now is that she can just kind of combo your face off. Uh, and if you're not, you know, di correctly, or if the platform layout's not in your favor, you're going to need a lot of damage. Right now, Hungry's in, uh, down by a fair amount right yeah. now. We see both players trying to take advantage of the fact that teleport characters are a little bit more vulnerable when grabbing the ledge compared to other recoveries. Yes, absolutely. Well, I mean, both Palutena and um, Zelda have really good spikes in this game, so. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. But Hungry continuing to try to get out of disadvantage right now. And yeah. uh, that was a really good stock there. From yeah, Hungry League. keeps coming up with uh, that forward air, trying to trying to basically like go for the hard read, hit him, and then reclaim stage control. But Odyssey being very good, waiting it out, and then punching with a back yep. air. So we haven't seen it happen yet, um, but Hungry has been practicing the, uh, the displaced phantom tech from... Uh, uh, with Zelda, where if basically you have to jump and uh, quarter circle the down B downwards, so Phantom spawns in front of you. Uh, could make a huge difference in a matchup like Palutena, where there's a lot Ooh, of projectiles. He got the sweet spot on that. Yeah, that was really nice. That move, like, it feels so satisfying, man. Yeah. Like, Din's Fire finally got what it rightfully deserved. And Din's the Fire is power. so, like, I don't want to say so it's very polarizing, where, like, sometimes the weak hit is, like, it's nothing. Yeah. But then you get killed by, like, the strong hit, and you're like, what the heck? Yeah, so you just kind of explode. Fires are, are dangerous. Oh, oh, that's unfortunate. Unfortnite. But a wise man once said, we take those. Yeah, basically. The good stuff there from Hungry, because he takes game one uh, from the grasps of defeat from Odyssey. Yeah, Odyssey, like... Ozzy was always in the lead for the most part up, in, up until the SE during that set. Yeah, like he was in. He was on track to win, essentially. Do we see a character switch potentially? No, it looks like he might be playing Palutena. Yeah, like like we just said, like Odyssey was like in the lead for most of that game. So it was honestly just the SE that like messed him up there at the end. So, so like, on, like a character switch really isn't like what he needs to fix. He just, he just needs to not SD. <laughs> How to not SD for idiots. Yeah. Ooh, all right. You got to say, big fan of the uh, the Stadium 1 uh, choice here. Uh, stadium 1 is actually, uh, they, they fixed that glitch with the camera, like, just, like, doesn't pan out. Um, and also, like, the platform layouts are just slightly different and more consistent than PS2. So. Yeah, and, like, the main platform is a little bit smaller than PS2. We take those. Big fan. Ooh. Then we see, like, that kind of ledge pressure is like what Zelda really excels with. Even though Hungry wasn't even the knight, oh, in that instance, like, yeah. that's also another thing in this matchup is that while Palutena really can't use explosive flame in the neutral willy nilly because of teleport, like, uh, Zelda can't really afford to call the knight for like the same reason. Is that yeah. explosive flame like just kind of snuffs it out? Yeah, exactly. So that's like, a like neutral between these two characters, both it's just gonna be both like them spacing with their normals and like trying to maybe go for a grab and bait shields and stuff like that. 
Nice up tilt right there. Gonna get the sparks, but not enough to kill just yet. Odyssey continuing to chase with the explosive flame, but good evasion there from Hungry. Spot dodge gets read by the back air, and Odyssey strikes first. Yeah. I've been really, been really making great use of that back air by the ledge. Just in like really any scenario. And I love the use of Din's fire, just because and as best that shakes the uh, the kill right there. But Hungry was able to bait an air dodge from Odyssey out of Din's fires and still keep him at disadvantage. When he grabs the ledge though. That could have been really, really bad for Odyssey, but gonna escape with only 29% on his tab. Oh! Oh, okay. Nothing off of the parry. That parry looks like they last like a lot longer just because of the, the odd animation of lightning kick. Yeah. Right, still in disadvantage is Hungry. Even this, you know, despite the good ledge trapping of his own on Odyssey, still find himself at the percent deficit here. Oh, oh, that was very good. Lightning. Hungry this time like pulled back on his back air. Lightning or, kick or is so air. silly, man. Oh, oh, that's also unfortunate. Well, yeah, that left side of the stage is cursed today. I don't know what's <laughs> going on. I mean, we are in the house of God, so when Palatina giveth, Palatina take us back. Yeah. Is that how that works? Uh, I, I should know how it works, considering I went to Catholic school most of my life, but <laughs> I kind of forgot most of it at this point. Yeah. All right, Hungry trying to secure this kill uh, desperately right now. Goes for Jump Phantom, but not going to get anything out of it. Odyssey trying to get off the platform. One of the hardest decks in the game, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I like the use of... Uh... See, Hungry goes for these, like, cool setups with Phantom as uh, Feyre's win connects, but just barely... Yeah, that's kill it just yet. another thing in this matchup. Like, you just can't go off stage like super hard against Zelda because like if you put yourself vulnerable on stage, he'll just teleport into you again. So you always have to be wary of that. That's also in this matchup is weird is that Palutena's down throw combos aren't very consistent on Zelda, and sometimes you can just like forward air out of it. Yeah, it's so strange. And you'll just die because it's Zelda's forward air. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird because like Lightning Kick is both like obviously like a strong punisher, but also Zelda's like. Uh, like break, like combo break tool. So like sometimes you'll be trying to combo somebody, and then you'll just get sweet spot them for like 25 damage or something like that. Yeah. I yeah, I saw there like, he ooh, that was. See, that's actually really good. It's that because sometimes the win box will push them off stage even if they normal get up. Interesting. Like, so it's or get up attack too if you have spaces. So it covers a lot. All right, so hungry continuing to press right now. Has a lot of ground to make up right now. Good ledge cancel there from Odyssey. Yeah, sick ledge cancel. Ooh, gets, oh. yeah, gets, gets stuck in shield Wow, right that was there. very good, like, Hungry, like, knew he wanted the back air, so he faked it out and was able to sneak it in f tilt in order to get him out of that corner. Ooh, he gets the, an air dodge, uh, but Zelda just unfortunately not quick enough to get the oh, combo out yeah. of that. Oh, he lived! The Eye of the Gods. Two, <laughs> the Eye of the Princess, actually. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Ooh, rolls on stage. f tilt just not going to connect just yet. Yeah. Zelda's f is also, like, pretty safe. Oh! Okay. There we go. That one for also for a second looked like it wasn't gonna kill just yet. So yeah, that was that was a very very uh, closely contested game. Yeah, too. I could I could tell there at the end, Hungry was looking for an F uh, an F smash that might have killed from center, maybe. Probably Zelda's F smash is. Nuts. Yeah, it's really strong and it's like it pulled back. It's very disjointed. So would have caught him like uh, his poke for forward air. I knew the second I wanted to play Zelda was when I was playing Utopian Ray. And he parried, I parried his getup attack. I was at like 150, he was at like 70. I parried and I F smashed him and he like, if, like evaporated. <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? This character's kind of nice. <laughs> Yo, my Zelda's smooving. Yeah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, here we go, the, the, the patented our hungry color counter pick. Uh, yeah. Let's see if, if Hilda can bring him to the promised land. Yeah. Or not Hilda, because you know. Yeah, technically, like, there's, there's gonna be that guy in chat, like, technically, yeah, it's actually, not. Actually. Yeah, it's actually. Not. Yeah, regardless, this is nice. Zelda skins are all really, really nice. Ooh, up to the uh, sweet spot backer connects. Yeah. So hopefully the left side of uh, Pokemon Stadium doesn't uh, screw anybody oh! up. Oh! That was a good string from Hungry. All that, which is good ledge pressure into, expo uh, into uh, almost said explosive flame. Didn't fire. <laughs> What's the difference? Yeah, you get burned once. You get burned <laughs> multiple times. <Yeah. laughs> Dude, if Explosive Flame was that good in Kid Icarus Uprising, I would use that. I, I would use that power much more often than I actually would. It's good in multiplayer. Yeah. Just throw it out. People die. So kind of like Smash. <laughs>
Ooh, oh, yeah, nice call out. Call out. It looks like Odyssey was going for a jump backer right there, but good call out there from Hungry going yeah. for the forward air. Yeah, that's good adaptation from Hungry. We saw in the first set, like, Odyssey using very good well, a very good use of back air for ledge trapping. Oh, just like that. Yeah. And now it kind of came full circle over. Back yeah. air is good. And there we go. There's this place Phantom the guy was talking about. All the benefits of Zelda's uh, Phantom, except it spawns in front of you instead of behind you. Yeah. So good. Yeah, you're, you're apparently really good at it. Yeah, it's it's definitely much easier with a pro controller, um, but because my controls are so janky, I actually am able to do it really well with the gaming controller. But nonetheless, uh, Hungry actually finds himself in the driver's seat right now. F tilt gonna connect. Ooh, I like the snaking use of the uh, of the dense fire. I actually did not know you could like control the direction of it like yeah. Now that these much. teleports on, or fair winds on stage aren't like say Palutena has an easy time punishing his dash attack. Oh yeah, without a doubt. Oh, that's the same like setup that Whoa. got Hungry killed the last game. Yeah, you see Hungry kind of like autopiloting immediately to these uh, favors when they get at a disadvantage. And as you can see, Odyssey's been able to like, you know, generate a lot of good offense and bring, get himself within, you know, oh. striking distance here. The yeet back throw, it's not, not going to connect. Yeah. Yeah, that's really good from Odyssey. Uh, one thing I see Gons do in this matchup against Hungry is that Gons will completely like negate the night pressure by just teleporting on stage with Palutena, and like by bypassing Whoa. all of Hungry's like ledge traps. Yeah, for sure. Oh, that was a good wait. That was a good wait from Odyssey. Yeah, for sure. And F tilt. Oh, oh, the call out. Oh. That's exactly what Gons does. And Hungry's like, Nah, I see you. Heavenly I've been in this situation before. <laughs> What is more powerful, religion or royalty? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, the royal treasury definitely came out on top in that exchange, but nonetheless, Odyssey continuing to press right now. I like the use of the, the barely. Tra I think that's the stage uh, two phantom. Yeah, I he just like gives you like a kick. I think it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! I the jump um, neutral B is something I haven't seen Hungry do like at all. How you say schmoving? Yes. Yeah, but Odyssey just one solid confirm away from uh, taking this out, and there yeah. we go. 2-1 for Odyssey. Yeah, and a very closely contested set on both sides. Yeah, I think uh, the important both players played really well at the ledge, like trying to keep their, uh, the, the, uh, their opponent at the ledge. So yeah. that's that the one takeaway from that yeah, set. That wasn't even a RAR. That was just like a good read on the jump. Yeah. And uh, you know, back air connected. So.